Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're learning about how to solve rational equations. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help you use Minute Math. We're given this problem here, solve 1 over x plus 1 over 3 equals 5 over 6. One thing I want to get off the bat here is, what can x not be? Well, x cannot be 0. If x is 0, we're dividing by 0, undefined can't do that. So it's good to kind of note that from the beginning. All right, now that we have that out of the way, what is x? What value is it? Well, what I want to do is see if, if I can find a least common denominator across all the denominators here. I have x, 3, and a 6. Well, across that I'm seeing the least common denominator is going to be a 6 x, okay? We have 6x across, well, all the denominators, right? Least common denominators. So, well, 3 is 2 times 3 gives me a 6. Got that here. So I'm going to rewrite this and multiply both sides of the equation by 6x. And this is one of the techniques you can do to solve this. Uh, let's do 6x here. And we have a 5 over 6. Well, what happens when I multiply this across to all parts here? I have a, well, 6x times 1 is a 6x over x plus a 6x over a 3 equals a 6x times 5, let's leave it like that, times 5 for right now, over a 6. All right. Now, what's nice about all this is, well, the denominators can eventually get eliminated and we don't have a fraction anymore. X's cancel here. 3 and 6 simplify, you have a 2 there, and the 6's cancel here. Hence, looking for the LCD of all of our original denominators. So what's left over here? Well, we have a 6 plus a 2x equals x times 5, or a 5x. From there, just solving like normal. Subtract 2x to both sides. And we have 6 equals 5x minus 2x is a 3x. Divide both sides by 3. Flip it around. You should be able to see that. 6 over 3 is a 2. And there we have it. Our solution to our equation here, our rational equation, is just x equals 2. Hope you learned something here on how to solve rational equations. And if you did, make sure you like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. This helps us make more of these free math lessons for you and for everyone else. So as always... Thanks for watching.